Well, that's an unfortunate frame to be frozen on, but I'm finally uploading the song, the theme song I wrote for An Inconvenient Sequel, back on July 21st. So things are happening. I'm only a month behind. It's like I'm having my... Last night I stupidly stayed up till 3 in the morning just watching crap on my phone. So I slept till about 11. And then my dreams... I think I was in Israel running around. But I was always looking for papers. Like I, I was like, where's my papers? Where's my organization? Ah. I just had a pile of papers that I needed. And I'm like, where did I leave it? Anyways, I think it's related to the fact that my life is kind of scattered and I'm like, what am I supposed to be working on? But at least I'm getting this video done. Uh, and here's a thing. I've got four tickets. I won two and then Cheryl's giving me two. She won to the movie Tulip Fever tonight. It starts at 7 p.m. at Bay and Bloor at the Varsity Theatre in Toronto. Uh, Cheryl says to be there by six, but you know, I don't know if I will be. If anyone wants to come with me, let me know. And uh, I figured it'd be cool, like, we could all film a quick review of the movie afterwards and make some content out of it so that you weren't just sitting, wasting time watching a movie. We're actually producing creative work. Okay, I'm here. Ilana's inside, which leaves two tickets left from Cheryl. I wonder if I should try giving them to the strangers. Although they're on an email, it's probably not worth all the trouble. Well, if anybody wants to come in the next 15 minutes, here I am. over there, and I noticed this cup is out of water. I'm going to ask if we can get more water for it. Excuse me. Can I get a bit of tap water for the dog? Thanks. Okay. Okay, so... I look like a Hasidic Jew with my hair flowing. Shalom! We just ran into her guy in the street, or your guy Dave from University, who's, the, what is he, the drummer in Honeymoon Suite? Is yeah. that what he said? And he's just here for the one night, crazy times. I'll show you a picture. And there's the people Jennifer was telling us about, the wife of Dave, saying that people are just doing tango dancing on the street for who knows why. That's very Toronto, very big city. Love it. Stacy said I should take a photo of this. She says it's Gorge. It's all shoes, and I guess they're looking like flowers, which fits with the flower theme of the movie. Very nice. I should wear tiny little purple shoes. I think I would look very pretty. We're getting groceries. We got some hummus. We got some... She's having people over on Sunday. I'm not invited, apparently, but that's fine. I wouldn't invite myself either. I brought a bag in my purse, so I gave it to her, so we're saving the environment, and I saved her like 10 cents or 5 cents or something. Fabulous. Now we're in a pizza place, and uh, this band is good. What song is that? I like it. They're deciding on beer. I said, are you a student? She's like eighth year of pharmacy. She's done with school. She doesn't want to be in school anymore. So, cool. This is my fair day. It's got kale. It's all vegetarian. She talked me out of getting the sausage. She's making me healthy. Okay. I just said to her, I can help promote your hairstyling and hair coloring. And I'm like, would you be on a video if uh, if I was like reviewing celebrity hairs, like Jen Branson? She was like, oh, Jen's hair looks bad because of this. I'm like, ah, that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> okay, the lights just went on. The chairs are up. I think they're closing down. But I gave Vivian, our waitress, the cartoon, and we got a photo of it together. So my mission here is complete. And there's the ladies. So now we go back to my place for a threesome. <laughs> this is the Brunswick House, the first bar. Well, the first place I ever got drunk, the first place I ever drank. There's a good picture of me going like, uh, beside the girl that I would go on to love forever. But now it's a shopper's, or it's a Rexall drugstore.
Okay, that was fun. Went longer than anticipated. If, if you have any questions about who the heck everyone was or what we were doing, let me know. But I just remembered I have an audition at 11.20 a.m. at my talent agents. So it's time to go to bed. Good night, Rack Pack.